everybody. Today we're going to have we're going to have a little truth talk because this is a subject that is near and dear to me. It's something I've been preaching since the beginning and we're going to be talking about how busyness is totally not business and how you can get over this. So I may get a little heated because <laughs> this is something that everybody falls into and it just doesn't need to happen that way. So in case you don't know me, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at totalgenius.net. And I help business people just like you build and start uh, and run their business so that they don't dive into busyness and they focus on what is important so that you can make the amount of money that you need every month, not um, dive into uh, so much that you can't actually be happy because happiness is the goal. Okay, so first of all, I want you to understand that, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, your job, obviously, is to create value for the people that you serve. And your job also is to make an income at it. So this is something that is just very odd to me. How people think that I'm going to try to do this to see if I can make money at it. When in actuality, in order to have a business, you have to be sure that you're going to make money. So this requires having a plan that you actually need a plan of action so that you can, uh, hi Kathy, so that you can actually do what it is that you're here to do and share this value with the people that you serve so that you can then make money. That is the end goal. And for some reason, it's, it's almost like um, what I see is that a lot of people just get caught up in a lot of busyness, spending a lot of money, taking random courses, trying to find uh, the, the secret answer to getting clients and growing and scaling their company. And the main problem is, is that number one, you're human. And so being human, we have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day, 80% of them are negative and 95% of them are repetitive. So this means that we have very limited control of what we do with our time and focus. And because of that, you need to really optimize your time and your focus, which means, okay, so, so I, I, this is, this is something that you, you have to just take and own, but it's called the strategy of one. When you realize that it is very simple to build a business that, that is a profit generating business, when you understand how you best make money. Now I'm going to go into a little detail in that because that can be kind of difficult for people to understand. But there are some foundational business rules that don't involve a lot of tactics. So foundational business rules, they apply whether you have a physical business or you have an online business. Whether you're a, um, an international uh, retailer giant, you know, Apple, or you're one person operating from a laptop. They're just foundational business rules um, that, that you have to understand. And then on, when you have those foundational business rules, then you need to understand how you, how you best make money, which is, I, I like to simplify, you know, call it the lazy route, but it's really what strategy is. Strategy is taking, um, taking two or more parts and then not working harder at trying to make it happen but realizing all the different combinations that can happen so that you can get the end result that you want. So this is working smarter, not harder. And this all comes down to the strategy of one. So 
when you build your business, the first thing that you need is a solid foundation. You need to realize what it is that you do. So many people call this your why, but I think, you know, they, they get the why confused with, you know, I'm doing this so that I can quit my job or I'm doing this so that I, um, so that, that I can support my husband and he can quit his job. That's not really what your why is, or at least how I see your why. Your why is why you exist. Like, why did you lead the life that you led? Why did you have all those failures and tragedies and different things that happened to you? Why did you learn what you learned? Why did you have the jobs that you had? All those things combined make up your life story. And your life story is not just um, an about page. <laughs> your life story has helped you um, understand who you are, your personality, the things that you're really bad at, the things that you're really good at, why you met certain people, uh, the, the tragedy, tragedies that you've had. Um, you know, many of my clients, they, they, uh, they came from, uh, um, they were abused or sexually abused by a family member or they've had some sort of death in their past. Um, you know, everybody has a story and your story has led you to now have a business. Your business and your why are, are not two separate things. They actually, you know, your why should be your why and then how you share that why with the people you're meant to serve. So like for me, you know, I, I've, I've told this story many times, but uh, my neighbor called me Chink every day when I'd walk to school. Uh, I grew up in Indiana. It was very hiddenly pre prejudiced. And uh, I grew up thinking that uh, there was something wrong with me. So I never really wanted to be myself. And it caused me to not, um, to not understand my own identity and not want to be myself, which caused me to admire things in other people, always wanting to be something else. And that actually was a hidden gift because what it caused me to do was to develop an eye for all things that, that were amazing, like amazing in, in people, their personalities, um, uh, things that were um, high quality, exquisite. And I used that in my career as 25 years as a retail shopping center marketing director for high-end shopping centers. And it, it caused me to be able to understand people, understand demographics and psychographics, which I had to do for my job, and then how to build these marketing innovations, innovative marketing strategies to help them, uh, to help the co companies I was working for attract more, more clients and make more money. And so now in my business, uh, I'm able to see the best in people, help them understand how their story plays into their lives, and help them understand their own identity. Because as I told you, you know, I didn't understand my own identity. So my why is helping people own your identity. I call it owning your expertise. Because you know, that is why we exist as humans. That's what people call your purpose. It's just owning who you are, all of those things that you beat yourself up with at night um, or for at night, you know, the things like, oh, I'm not good enough or why don't I fit in here or whatever it is that, that, that you, you end up struggling with. That's my why because I know that not understanding that leads you to beating yourself up in your head uh, not feeling good enough, doing sabotaging behaviors like overeating, you know, uh, uh, lethargy, not taking action on things, waiting, um, procrastination, all those things happen because you don't understand the importance of who you are. And, and I personally, after suffering a lifetime of not understanding my identity, you know, I, I still, to this day, struggle with it. And what it caused me to do was to, to 
get a severe autoimmune disorder, it caused the cells in my body to, to enact. And now, to this day, I have this horrific condition that I have to deal with every day, which today it's kind of bad. So, you know, um, I know from understanding holistic health that not figuring this out um, causes you to be unhealthy and then possibly suffer health consequences in the future. All for beating yourself up in, in your head for not understanding your identity. So that's my why. So you have a why and you have a story. So when you understand that, then, then you understand what it is that you want to do in the world, you know, what you would scream from the mountaintops. And then when you can position yourself correctly in a business that solves that problem for other people, this is the strategy of one. That in order to make money, and especially I recommend this for people if you're just starting out, is that you have a, you understand your why. You understand the why of the people that, that need you. You build one product or service. So if you're coaching, you have one signature program. This program solves an urgent need. An urgent need, which is your part of your why, for, for the people that you serve. It is priced at a level that is a transformational level so that you can work with a reasonable amount of clients every month so you have a, stra a, a, a target. So if you wanna make $10,000 and you sell your program for $3,500, then you need to get four clients a month. And it, that sounds really, if you haven't gotten four clients a month, and that have paid you up to $10,000 uh, total, then it sounds like a lot, but I'm gonna show you how it's not. So, so this is, so, so you have a program that is a higher end, so it's one program. Then you have one marketing strategy, one conversion marketing strategy, so that it's like one funnel that's very simple. So some people teach, that you should, uh, you should do a webinar. The webinar can lead to a consultation, and the consultation is where the, the, um, either you convert somebody to become a buyer or a client, or they don't become a client. So if that is your strategy, then that's your strategy. Because let me tell you that there are a million ways for you to get that webinar out there. There are, are a million ways for you to get in front of the right eyes. That there are a million ways for you to do that webinar. That you have to uh, experiment and test to see, not in some like A-B test, but test to see like in your own mind how this actually hits. How does this actually feel? Maybe I need to change this part of it. Maybe I need to change this part of it. And you figure out, because you have decided that that's your one strategy. And that strategy should be based on your greatest strengths in communicating. So if you're really strong at doing video, then maybe a webinar is great for you. Or if you are really strong at writing. So one of my clients, her bit, we aren't even done building her business, okay? So, but she has been guest blogging. And you know what? because we built her signature program, she already has a, pro a client who has paid her money for her signature program and her business is, isn't even all put together yet. Why that happens is because she knows what she does and she has a way for people to buy. This happened to another one of my clients. She has chosen her strategy and it is doing webinars. And she's been testing different things with the webinars and, and she had last week, just last week, four consultations and two people are thinking about it. So what, when I started my business, it took me a month and I was making five figures. And I want to let you know, so this was a couple years ago, I didn't even know what a funnel was. I've been doing marketing for 25 years, but 
I didn't, I didn't put a word to it. I just understood that when you position what it is that you're trying to, like the business, so I worked for um, shopping centers and retailers, when you position them of, at their highest value, understand the values of the clients and audience that you serve, and then you give them what they want. So I developed many different, uh, different um, ways to reach that, that target market, but they were very simple and I didn't complicate it with all of this, um, these tactics that I see everyone trying to learn and do it all. Because remember, you can do it all, but if your goal is to, to actually have a business where you're making money so that then you can exist later so that you can do it all, then that should be your goal. And making it as simple as possible, I mean, at least to me, is how you have a business that you love. Because then you understand, so you have, you have one signature program or product, one conversion marketing strategy, one place where you are going to generate leads. So either it's through networking or it's through uh, Facebook ads or it's through um, uh, your email list. You have one lead generation strategy or blogging or you, the webinar. So you have one lead generation strategy. I'm telling you that when you can understand how you best show up, and then build your strategy around that, understand your why and their why, you'll understand why you have a business and other people will understand too. And what ends up happening is that when you simplify this, you just become better and better and better at it. And so then it becomes a process. Then when you're, you're actually making money, then you can add it in all the other things. But the goal, you know, you thought you did what you did in your business, but the goal in actuality is just to market that. Not by adding in all these things that you don't need to know. By understanding why you exist and what you're great at. Because when you understand that, then marketing is like a, it's an art and a science. It's a gift. It's fun. I was thinking about this this morning, you know, even if I didn't have a business, I would still post the same things on my Instagram. <laughs> I would still probably do Facebook lives and I would talk about probably the same things because I sit and in my personal life, I, I go to the stores and I, and I try to help the cashiers build businesses from their, from their um, hobbies. I mean, I talk about this all day long. It's not because I'm working 24 seven. It's because this is just who I am. And I have a deep mission to help people. And I am sure that if you are listening to this and you are an entrepreneur, that you also have a deep mission to help people. And when you can understand that your goal is to do that, not to sit there, take a million courses, learn a million things, keep learning about business, always have a coach. <laughs> That's not the goal. The goal is to have a solid foundation of a business, own your expertise, and then do your work and help other people live better lives. Because that's why we all exist. Whether you have a business or not, we're all here to share our value with others. And you know, change lives just by being who we are. Whether you have a business or not, your goal should be to get paid for being who you are, to show up every day and to have a way that when you show up, it's actually your job because you may have a business, but your real job in life is to become the person you're meant to be. And I believe that having a business is the best way to do so because it makes you show up every day as your highest self. And it makes you have to be better at being who you are. That's the goal to me of life. 
And if that isn't your goal and part of your goal in your business, then go blow out, <laughs> have, go spend tons of money on courses, go try to learn everything and always have somebody telling you what you should be doing. Because to me, you know, when my clients own their expertise, yeah, you know what, they, they need help along the way, but they own their expertise and they, they help people and that, they know that that's the goal. And they know that, that, that their goal is just to get better and better at being who they are. And they spend time doing that. So, you know, it's a choice, but do less and live more. That, that's like the goal in life, right? Busyness is not business and it's not, that's not life either, to me at least. So anyway, I hope that that's helped you. If you feel like any friends need, need this, please share it with them. If you wanna learn how to own your expertise, it's five simple steps. You can go to my website at totalgenius.net and uh, that's what I do in my business. There, I have a signature program called Own Your Expertise. It's five steps. It's full out, simplified, foundational business to build the business that you love, give you the marketing strategy that's right for you, and then you go and you run your business. It's just the way life should be. Anyway, have a great night, everyone, and I'll be here tomorrow. Bye.